Hello everyone, um, just had some new avionics put in the helicopter and just wanted to go over a little bit of the things uh, that are new here so that you can know what to expect uh, on your flight training. Um, first you'll see right in front of the pilot we have installed the Garmin's G500H. The uh, 500H replaces all the uh, typical uh, round analog type flight instruments with a digital version. Uh, that gives you all the same uh, information as a standard six pack uh, would give you. Um, then you got a backup uh, attitude or uh, altimeter and a backup airspeed indicator uh, below. But uh, all the information that you're uh, used to seeing in the six pack is all available here now. Um, what you don't see on the screen is the synthetic vision, and it's just not booted up yet. It takes it a few minutes. Um, actually, I believe you have to have a GPS signal before it before it comes on. But anyway. The uh, synthetic vision uh, actually paints the uh, terrain, uh, elevation, the mountains, the hills, that sort of thing, and the towers all out on the screen. And if you get too close to one or you start descending too rapidly, uh, a voice will come on and, and tell you that uh, you're getting near terrain or there's an obstacle or that sort of thing. Um, also on a synthetic uh, vision display, you will see traffic depicted out into the blue area, uh, the sky, um, in the general position that uh, it's suspected to be. Uh, we had the Garmin GTN, or the Garmin, um, let's see, it's the 820 uh, traffic system put in. It detects out to about 12 miles, so it's also there. Um, on the screen next to it, uh, you can configure uh, it to basically show anything you want, uh, low in route, high in route, VFR charts, uh, traffic, weather, uh, instrument approach plates. Um, let's see if I can show you an instrument approach plate. Let's see. So yeah, you can pull it up and it's uh, geo-referenced. Of course, you can zoom in and zoom out on this plate so you can easily you know, see them a little better. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool little little unit. Um, it, there's a, a little thing on the uh, flight display uh, called a velocity vector, and it actually puts a little green circle out somewhere in in space, either in the in the blue or in the in the brown for the ground, or off to the left to the right, to show you uh, where the aircraft's actually going, uh, taking into consideration what the current winds are. Uh, down here in the bottom corner, you can see where it says no wind out of there. When you get up and flying, it'll actually give you degrees uh, such as 0, 90, zero, and 15 knots. It'll tell you which direction the wind's coming from. So the computer automatically calculates your wind correction angle when you're doing uh, approaches and, and that sort of thing. Um, the other piece of equipment we had installed to go along with this is uh, Garmin's GTN 750. Now, the GTN 750 is completely touchscreen, as you can see. And... Um, you know, the maps can be configured any way you like to show low in route, high in route, airways, uh, that sort of thing. Um, we also have the traffic there, terrain, weather, uh, you know, live XM weather, uh, all the approach plates, um, all the charts, all the procedures, arrival, departure. You also have uh, XM music that uh, you can select um, for the pilot, co-pilot, and or the uh, passengers to all listen to, to different sources. Um, some of the cooler features about this is the built-in comm up at the top here. Um, you touch it to swap it, and if you want to tune a frequency, you just touch the standby and tune your frequency in and press enter. Um, it works the same as the nav uh, for localizers and VORs. Also in the um, GTN 750, you got your complete audio panel. Let me show you what that looks like. Uh, typical uh, type setup that you'd see in, in all airplanes. You can select to talk and listen on different comms or that sort of thing. Um, you also have an intercom where you can isolate your passengers, isolate your pilot to passengers, uh, split the comms to where pilot and co-pilot can both be uh, talking to uh, a, a different frequency or someone different on the radio. Um, you got quick buttons here for micing on one or monitoring on one. And um, this is just COM1 up here. And then this is COM2. Uh, the other cool thing you got in here is the transponder. And this just takes up two little blocks up there. You can see we're squawking altitude at 1200. Touch that button and you can put in your trans or your uh, transponder frequency. 
and then you can select the various modes, uh, you know, right down here at the bottom. Um, pretty cool little deal. Everything's all built into that one Garmin unit there. Um, and if I zoom out just a little bit, that's really all that's on the panel. The Garmin unit, uh, my backup uh, comm, and the uh, 500H. So together with these two pieces of equipment, it really, really makes uh, doing instrument approaches uh, and doing instrument training uh, very, very, very comfortable and um, easier in my opinion because you get so much more information um, in the uh, flight display and um, your scan's a lot tighter, you know, all your instruments are there. Um, once you, you know, spend 10 or 15 minutes with it, um, you're going to be quite amazed at how well, how much better you're going to be able to uh, fly in instrument conditions uh, using this rather than the old analog gauges. But anyway, that's an update on what we have in the, uh, in the Jet Ranger now. Um, so yeah, when you get ready to start your instrument training, give me a call and let's, let's get it rolling. See you guys.